friends in this video we can discuss some problems based on phase representation so the fourth problem is perform the following operations and obtain the results in rectangular form so there are two sub parts the first sub part is 10 angle minus 60 plus 10 angle 30 so first of all we need to convert this particular vectors into rectangular form since it is a addition operation required so we need to convert it into rectangular form so you can use the calculator for direct conversion so we can see so i have taken the calculator and first of all i have to switch the complex mode so i have switched it into complex mode now i need to convert the first vector that is 10 angle so shift and angle shift angle minus 60 degree should be converted into rectangular form so now i have obtained the rectangular form value as 5 minus 8.6 i or in term so we have our converted value that is 5 angle 5 minus 8.66 j so we have our first value similarly we can convert the 10 angle 30 to 8.66 plus 5j let us do in the calculator okay now we can simply add the two vectors that is the real parts are getting added and the imaginary parts are getting added and similarly for the second part question 4 angle 30 degree in the 5 angle minus 60 there is no conversion needed since both the both the vectors are given in the polar form itself you can simply multiply the 4 angle 4 into 5 both the magnitude values and the angle values 30 degree and minus 60 so 30 plus minus 60 will give the answer okay now coming to the fifth problem it is if i1 value is given as 50 plus j30 and i2 is 8.66 plus 50 j find j form and the magnitudes of i vector i1 plus vector i2 vector i1 minus vector i2 and vector i1 into vector i2 vector i1 divided by vector i2 so we know that both the vectors are given a rectangular form so for addition and subtraction there is no problem for the conversion no requirement for the converted and for the multiplication and division we need to convert both the vectors into polar form so that you can use direct calculator or by using the equations you can convert these two terms for the multiplication and division and you can verify the answers and the sixth problem is construct the phasor diagram impedance of voltage and current given so the voltage V is given as 150 sin 5000 T plus 45 and vector I is given as 3 sin 500 T minus 50. So we know that vector V is written as Vm sin theta and I is written as Im sin theta. So while comparing these two equations, while comparing these two equations, you can obtain Vm, the maximum value is 150 and Im is compared as 3. So, when maximum value is given, IRMS value, which we have already discussed in the last module for a purely sine phi voltage or for a purely sinusoidal wave, VRMS is equal to Vm by root 2. So, Vm value is given. So, VRMS value similarly, IRMS value can be also obtained. Now, in short, we know that for a polar form, in polar form, vector V is equal to VRMS angle theta. So, VRMS is calculated as 150 by root 2, 150 by root 2 is obtained and theta. So, theta is obtained from the given value that is vector V is equal to 150 sin 5000 T plus theta. So, theta can be obtained. So, we obtain that vector V is vector V is equal to 150 by root 2 angle 45 degree. Similarly, vector I is obtained as I RMS. I RMS is obtained as 3 by root 2 and the angle here is minus 45 degree. So, the minus 45 degree value is obtained. So, vector V voltage and current is obtained. Now, we need to calculate the value of impedance. So, impedance is just the resistance. Impedance is equal to V by I. So, voltage value in polar form and volt current value in polar form is obtained. That is why we have converted both the vector values into polar form. So, the resultant impedance is given by 50 angle 60 
or it is obtained as 25 plus d 43.3 and we need to now we need to plot the phasor diagram and the impedance triangle for the impedance triangle we know that for the impedance triangle we know that the voltage current and the impedance should be plotted so for the impedance triangle we know that the impedance value is given by 25 plus j 43.3 that is the real value is given as 25 and the imaginary value is given as 43.3 so the resultant vector is it is plotted as is it is equal to 50 angle 60 so the magnitude is 50 and the angle is given by 60 okay and coming to the phasor representation again we are having vector v vector i okay so the vector v is given as the magnitude is given as 150 angle root 2 and the angle is 45 degree and for the vector i we know that the magnitude is given by 3 by root 2 and the angle is again 15 degree so that we can complete this problem thank you everyone